Hey everybody, I'm in Valley Forge National Historic Park. Yes, that Valley Forge, the one where Washington and his troops stayed before going across the Delaware on that cold winter's night to attack the uh, Hessians in Trenton. Uh, so I thought this would be a cool place to do some uh, landscape photography, in particular a panoramic. And I thought it was an interesting view here underneath this beautiful tree where we've got the tree as a canopy framing these huts behind me. So in order to do that, I've got three different pieces of gear that I'm using. I've got a panoramic plate, I've got a quick release plate, and I have a small tripod head. So let's take a look at each individual piece separately. So the first piece I've got here is the panorama two plate. This is a free rotating plate that can fit either underneath your ball head or on top of it. I personally find it easier on the top since it's easier to get things level and to make sure they stay level. I'm going to put that on top of here and I've got for this on top of my trio pod a small ball 30 head which is small but is mighty. This will hold more than enough weight of pretty much anything you can throw at it. So I'm going to put this right on top. Uh, on the bottom by the way it's got a quarter inch thread. Uh, this receptacle is also removable which will reveal a 3 8 inch mount should you want to put it on any tripod head. So I'm simply going to put it on there and spin it around. There we go. There's a tightening knob here. I can loosen that and then this will freely rotate. There is a ball level here, but since I'm not going to mount this directly to the camera, which is an option by the way, I'm going to put a quick release plate and for that I'm using the NovaFlex Q mount. Very short throw, so it's very quick to tighten and release. Again, it's got a precision ball level on the top and underneath it has the same receptacle, quarter inch. Take this one out and you've got 3 8 inch. So for this, I am going to put this on top. There we go. And if I just tighten the bottom one down, then this one doesn't move anymore. So to mount my camera, I've got a standard quick release plate underneath here. I'm going to mount this in. And as I release this particular knob right here, now it will freely rotate. Now I've got a ball level on here, so what I want to do is I want to make sure that this camera is level as it rotates. So I'm going to take a look. I had already set it up ahead of time. As I rotate around, the bubble is staying in the middle. So I know that this rotation is going to be perfectly level. And that's important because I don't want my image to be all kinds of skewed and I want them to stitch up well and I don't want to lose anything. So there we have it. And when you're doing your shots with a, a freely rotating system like this, pick something in the distance so you can see what's going on. You want to make sure you've got at least oh, 25 or 30 percent overlap from shot to shot. And I'm seeing here this is probably going to be probably four shots. So let's go ahead and get those shots. instead of rotating the camera so you don't have to touch it. All your call, whatever works for you, it will work equally well on either side. So again, we've got the Panorama 2 plate, a Q-mount quick release plate, and a Ball 30 making this all work. 